So this part will be pretty quick, to be honest. We'll probably do the event, do some rolls, and then move on to some fists and a North Star afterwards. Just to take a look, see. Unfortunately, this um, emulator is pretty rigid, so I haven't really found any ways to help with some of the performance. It seems like it does shit less, but it still stutters sometimes. Where shall we begin? So the pipe is actually a daily login thing. So the rest of them we won't pick up until later on in the week. But we got the first one. Actually, let's do our daily summons too. What do we got? What, you, what nonsense are you going to give me today? Lod, we going? Hmm. Wretched staff, I think, is the do. The rest is doo doo. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that just puts us there. Whoopsie. So the usual fare, we do through the normal. It looks like we got Brother Near, Kaine, and Emil, number seven. So if we grind up enough, we can get their three stars. Four stars are pretty much just us rolling on the banner itself. we have a fire set? Yeah, we do. Not that it really matters, but we do. Fire! Which is this an achievement? Damn, I mean, you're not wrong. I went above and beyond. It's like, imagine him floating in for a school picture. And actually trying to smile when he has no lips. Whoa, whoa, game, please. Let's get these things cleaned up. Right off the bat with the music and um, the airy in the background. What? More. Which is fair, considering this is focused around Kaine. It's nestled oh. in the face of a steep cliff. Hmm. And in it, there once lived a young girl. We get to see her before her hair turned white, too. She always sulked as she watched the village children playing outside her window. She wasn't sick. Instead, she had a mark on her leg that made her different. Her parents told her to hide the mark. If she did not, they would not allow her to go outside. Mm. 
But the mark was a part of her. Each time they told her to hide it, it was like they were asking her to deny her very being. The girl hated the thought of hiding it, and the more they told her to, the harder she resisted. She and her parents had been having this fight for several long years now. Hmm. So this is before she was even living with her grandma. I'll cut down everything in my way. It's so funny that her, her our auto fire group has her wielding that fucking <laughs> that fucking great sword. Yeah, they're definitely not shying away from putting in a bunch of the music here. Even Bluebird. Confirmation on the target. Let's get after him. What more? So rank wise, he's the only one that is a max dot yet. things cleaned up. Looks like that's supposed to be the planes proper. I've got enough death for everyone. Yo, the swords in the background. Nice. What? More? The girl was locked in her house, so others would not see the mark on her leg. Hmm, okay. Unable to contain her discontent, she decided to disobey so this is a different her girl. and sneak out of the house. Oh shit. She ran through the village like hell itself was pursuing her. But when she crested a hill, she found someone was already waiting there. It was a warrior with flowing white hair. She sat quietly on a boulder 
Her sword stuck into the ground nearby. Her pale skin was crisscrossed with wounds, as though she had just finished a battle. But it was the warrior's left side that truly drew mm, the girl's the attention. It was covered by bandages that had slipped to expose a patch of inky black skin. Skin that looked like a larger version of her own birthmark. She's just like me, thought the girl. Suddenly, she felt a deep ache to be like this woman. A person who did not even flinch when someone stared at her mark. I want to be like you, said the girl. As the woman turned to look at the girl, her gaze fell on her leg. A curious mixture of sadness and anger flitted across her face like a wraith in the dark. There's nothing good in a life like mine. This said, the warrior turned away from the girl as if she had never noticed her in the first place. She then tightened her bandages and walked away. Now we get to find out whether or not that girl tails her or not. Found you. I've got enough death for everyone. I have visual confirmation on the target. Let's get after him. This guy before Anthony Maybe this will help. I would assume before, just because people in the area weren't like completely quarantined in yet. Because it's implied that, like, since she was even younger, she was chasing around that one giant shade. So she'd been fighting for a hot minute even before we found her in, um, Replica. Let's get these things cleaned up. Yeah, it's a little bit more, um, electronic compared to the other ones, but yeah, we got a Grimoire. It's like one of the earlier fire ones we got. I have visual confirmation on the target. Let's get after him. Hmm. 
is that the old house? Yep, it indeed was. After parting hmm. ways with the warrior on the hill, the girl returned home. As she made her way to her parents' room to tell them what happened, she heard whispered voices from the uh -oh. other side of the door. Wave caused her so much pain by telling her to hide her birthmark like that. But we did it for the right reasons. You know what would happen if people saw that and thought she was possessed. Mm. My parents are actually worried about me. Possessed. When she heard that word, the girl recalled a conversation she had with her parents when she was but a child. It was a story of a warrior who had been cursed by a shade and turned into a monster. And about how horribly she had been treated in this very village. The girl remembered the mixed emotions on the face of the woman she met earlier. She had lived through things the girl could not even imagine. Feeling ashamed for imposing her own desires on the warrior, she began to think about the hidden meaning behind the woman's expression. Let's see if we run into her again. Or maybe we just get a little tidbit of her afterwards. Let's get these things cleaned up. And <laughs> the dance hall. Yeah, you know, where a bunch of babies were forcibly fused together <laughs> and had to try to fight us as one with their caretaker. Yep, yeah, just standard fare. Nothing weird about that. Get these things cleaned up. I've got enough death for everyone. I have visual confirmation on the target. Let's get after him. down everything in my way I know they're a little similar but it would have still been cool if they made them look more like replicant shades I At have visual confirmation event. on the target 
Let's get after him. At least for the event. What? More? To the girl, the mark on her leg was a part of her, and her parents accepted that. But if the other villagers saw it, terrible things would surely come to pass. And not just to her, but to her parents as well. Caught between her parents' love and her own pride, the girl was in anguish. Soon thereafter, she began hiding her mark. In so doing, she hoped to acknowledge the love her parents had blessed her with. But though she disguised her birthmark with bandages, she refused to hide the wrapped leg. In this way, she hoped to mirror the pride of the warrior. The girl stands at the top of the hill, bathed in sunlight. Looking out, she makes a firm resolution. Once she is as strong as the warrior, once her parents no longer have to fear for her safety, she will remove her bandages and walk the world as she was meant to. Oh. As the girl gazes over the plains, reflected in those eyes is the sky that leads to her future. Next difficulty. I'll mess with that on my own, though. That was pretty good. Now it's time to start spinning a little bit and see if we can get something. I think in order to get much of anything from the exchange itself, I'll probably have to go through hard and very hard and start doing some grindage. Definitely want... At least these guys. And the weapons. The rest will just see how much we have afterwards. Oh, I feel like I gotta sneeze. Oh. Oh, God. Alright. So they all had different clothes on, which is interesting. The world ender. Yep, it is kind of all his fault. Just a little bit. And <clears throat> kind of, sort of, totally. Mama, we got. I'm opening the door. Give me something good. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Another courtly. I love giving me that staff today. Alright, we'll do one more round. Because otherwise we're gonna probably have to grind up a little bit. That way we have a buffer. And... survey said nope. 
that makes me sad. Hmm, of course our weapon. I don't think we had this lance yet, so that's new. But the rest is kind of so-so. At least you can ascend those uh, machine head fists. Bobat heads. Yup. That was doo doo. How much do we got? Oh, that's not bad actually. Yeah, if I could do it again. I forgot I actually got some for the event itself, which means when we do hard and very hard, we'll get more. Oh! 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 What could that be? Watch it be another weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Or you know, what if it ends up being our first 4 star dupe? We actually haven't had one yet. This game doesn't seem to do that too much. Hey, another machine sword. There goes some more essential material. Let's see what this is. Survey said! Bro, what if it's not even for the event? <laughs> see, glad they're hard to mention or see. Hmm. Hey, it's your boy! That's a good first one. Check out that staff, too. Damn. Uh... Nice, nice, nice. We got a meal! Divergent Oddity. Oddity is definitely a way to put that. Yo, Philosopher's Staff. Check out the stone. That's cool. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if one of his attacks just has him sprout the arms like, wait a minute? <laughs> and then we got another Gale. Murderous Attent is pretty much just gonna be maxed out. Same with her own Ascension stuff. No, not the spear. You. What I really, really, really love is when she hugs me, cause it smells nice. That's uh, weird. Uh, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I like sleeping outside because I'm with Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of her. Oh. I like sleeping outside. I took on this hideous form to save my friends, but it's okay. Because it lets me help everybody. Considering what he's gone through, the fact that he's that much of a good boy still is quite the feat in and of itself. Um, but that's the general event. We'll probably keep grinding and see if we can get the other two. And if not, we'll at least get their three star versions and all that. But that'll be it for today on this. We gonna move 